button to a bow creates a fun look and adds interest to your project. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to add a button securely to your bow. And look at what I found. As I was doing some spring cleaning, I opened a box in my closet and found all of these beautiful and unique extra buttons that came with many of the shirts and jackets I've purchased throughout the years. I don't even think I have some of these clothes anymore, but I still save the buttons. Some of these even come with coordinating thread that you can use on your cards and scrapbook pages. Now I've chosen this very unique metal button that must have gone to some fancy jacket or shirt and I never needed the extra button but it's going to make a great accent piece for my bow. Let me show you the other tools and products you're going to need for this technique. First, you're going to need a bow and I've created a bow using the Gina K Designs Chocolate Kiss stitched ribbon and I've used the bow easy to create the bow and if you like if you'd like to see how I did that just click on the bow easy video at stamptv.com and you can see exactly how I made a double looped bow then you're going to need some glue dots to secure the bow onto your card you're going to need something to use as thread and I like to use dental floss and I really like to use the waxed dental floss because the dental floss being waxed really keeps the thread nice and tight and it's very easy to feed through the holes. You're also going to need a marker. I'm using a Copic marker in dark bark and I'm using that because I'm actually going to color my dental floss to match my bow. And that's a really great way to have thread that matches all of your ribbons and card stocks is to just color the thread with a Copic marker. And then you're going to need some scissors. I'm using my cutter bees and then I have a piece of scratch paper here that I can work on. Okay, so to begin I'm going to take a little bit of this dental floss and I've got the Pure Luxury 120 pound cardstock here because I don't want my Copic marker to bleed through onto my tabletop. And I'm just going to take my marker and lay it down on the dental floss and just pull the dental floss across the marker like that. And that's just coloring my floss. And I really don't have to do the whole thing because I'm not going to need that much. The first step is to take a button and feed the floss through one of the holes like that. And then lay the button on top of the bow and bring the floss around the back of the button and then feed the floss through the other hole. So now both threads are coming out through the top of the button like that. And then you're just going to tie that floss. I like to do a double knot. So knot it once and then knot it again and then using my scissors I'm just going to cut off a little bit of excess there and because the floss is so nice and thin you barely even see the thread on there now if you'd like to see the thread you can use thicker types of threads like twine or different color flosses that might show up a little bit better and so now we've got the button securely attached to the bow and now I'm going to take my card project and I'm just going to pop that right onto my card using a couple of glue dots. I like to use more than one of the glue dots just to make sure we get a nice tight bond. So I'll put one glue dot on and then I'll add one more glue dot. Straighten out my bow exactly the way I want it. and pop it onto my card and press. And then you can kind of straighten out your bow. And you've got a beautiful little accent on your bow that finishes off your card. With spring cleaning on the horizon, raid your closet for those lonely buttons that we're all so afraid to throw away. Adding these unique buttons to your bows creates the perfect accent to any paper crafting project.